Hey guys, so it was requested for me to do a brush video, so I'm going to be doing this in two separate videos since I have a ton of eye brushes. Um, so I'm going to be doing, this one is for face brushes, and then the next one I'm going to be doing is for eye brushes. I will link down below the eye brushes for you guys if you want to check that out. But this was requested by, again, Dinah, and thanks so much for requesting. Um, basically, I'm going to show you... Yeah, I'm going to show you pretty much every single brush that I have, but I, I'll tell you the ones that I don't use that often. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started because it's, it's going to be a quite long video. Um, so, anyways, to store my brushes, I just keep them in, like, glass containers. I just find them from, like, this one was from TJ Maxx. I actually think most of these come from TJ Maxx, but just, you know, anywhere that has glass containers, you can use candle holders or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, that's what I keep mine in, like cups, whatever. So, let's go ahead and get started with these. These are the ones that I use every single day here, basically. Um, and then I have some random ones as well. Uh, but currently, I have been loving this brush. I have this Flawless Face, face Brush from... Bare Minerals. This one's like the smaller size that they have a full size. This one I just love because it's so big and fluffy and that's what I apply my bronzer with um, if I don't want to be as precise and that's what I've been doing lately. Um, then I have this contour and gold. This is not a contour. It's actually now a contour brush. This is just a regular blush brush from Sony Kashuk. It came out with a summer line a while ago and I loved it. This was like my second set of brushes that I ever got and oh my gosh, I love these brushes. Any by Sony Kashuk are so amazing. Um, so this is just a blush brush and I like this one, but it's kind of fluffy and bigger and I don't use it as often, but I used to use it all the time. Um, the other one, I have this Heavenly Face Brush from Bare Minerals as well. This is like a limited edition one, but it's just a flat top kabuki brush. And uh, I just blended my foundation with this one. Simple enough. And then I have this stippling brush from Flirt Cosmetics. They say it's a powder brush, but it's a stippling brush. And I used to use it for stippling, but it's way too small for stippling. So now I use it to... Um, add highlight to my face because stippling brushes pick up little the littlest amount of product and it's just great because you don't want to overdo your highlight. So that's what I use for that. Um, this Sony Kashuk brush as well, this one came out with a holiday collection last year um, and it's just a small contouring brush. It just like gets more into the hollows of your cheeks better. And then I've got, let me set these down because I can't hold these. Then I have this angled contour brush, which is what I've been using for my blush currently. This one's just from Coastal Scents. These are pretty good brushes for the amount of money that they, um, well, they're pretty good brushes for the amount of money, like a great starter kit. Um, I've never tried Sigma before or anything like that, so, um, you know, they're probably not the same at all, but, um, Sigma is definitely better quality probably, but they're good starter sets if you want a starter set. They're really good. Um, so I apply my blush with that. Then I have the Sony Kashuk blush brush again, and this one came out with a, like, summer collection last year, or this year, and it's, uh, I use it sometimes for my blush, but I find that it's a little bit too big for my liking, so I don't use it that much anymore. It's just kind of in here. And then again, another Sony Kashuk brush. As you can't, if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Sony Kashuk, but this one's like a big, I'm not even sure, but I use this for face powder um, to set it with because like when I use my Revlon Color Stay Whip foundation I just like to pat it into my skin because if you buff it it's not good if you like rub it over your skin it doesn't work as well with that foundation anyway so I like to press it into my skin so I don't know what this is called but I use it for a powder brush but it it looks like this it's like ginormous and I love it and this came out with the summer collection as well this year Let's see what else do I have. Another Sony Kashuk brush. This is like, I don't know what this is called, but it's like a, what do they call it? Some contour brush, like a more precise contour brush, basically. It's a dupe for the MAC one. I don't remember what the MAC one is called. When I find out, I'll tell you in the down bar what the MAC one's called, and this is a dupe for it. It just is a more definition, like a defined contour. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, and it's just amazing. And it's not too stiff, not too, like, you can see, like, powder flying off of it, but it's not too stiff and not too, like, whim like flimsy, so I really like it. And then I have this e.l.f. powder brush for 
three bucks. Really good deal because I use this to kind of blend things out a little bit and sometimes I'll apply my setting powder with this if my ones my other ones like washing or whatever uh, but not too often I just like to blend things out with it and um, sometimes even apply my foundation for a light coverage so my powder foundation for light coverage so I really like this one and I dropped one and then the last one in here oh no second to last is this one by what is this essential beauty I picked this up at TJ Maxx just because I was having this like problem with brush I could not not buy brushes um this one's actually one actually pretty good uh it's nice and soft it's basically like a kabuki brush and sometimes I'll like set foundation with this as well um just if I'm you know I don't know how to say if I'm going quickly because this blends it as well because sometimes if you use like a powder brush and you just like swipe it on it just looks weird with that foundation I'm not sure why but yeah and then the last face brush that I have which is like a face and eye brush but that's okay is this bare minerals one in what's this tapered blush and shadow brush so it's just a tapered blush brush here and I like to use it for highlighting uh, that's really it and then here's the uh, contour like shadow brush um, angled shadow brush and sometimes I use for shadow I don't really because it's too double ended so I use this one this side more but that's all for the first jar and then the second one I have another glass container as you can see and I have random brushes in here some lip brushes which I will probably mention in my eye brush video just because I only have like a couple and some of these are dirty these are the ones that I don't use very often and they actually need cleaned because there's literally dust on them uh, I've, I, have, I haven't used these ones in forever so yeah but I'll tell you what I used to use them for because I don't really use them anymore so let's go ahead and get started first of all I have this um, elf professional total face I have this e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. It's just a super big brush, and it's okay, but the bristles are kind of rough, so I don't really recommend this. Um, but it's good It's good if you're starting out um, to like sweep on some setting powder, but that's really it. Uh, but I don't really recommend it, though, because the, the, the bristles are pretty like rough. Um, but yeah. Then I have this Sony Kashuk brush. Why did I just look at the bottom like there was going to be a name? Um, the Sony Kashuk small foundation brush, which came with a holiday collection. This is what the handle normally looks like. As you can see, I haven't used this one as much. And I just um, would use this one for like concealer areas. I don't have any concealer, and I forgot to pick it up today. I'm an idiot. But anyway, I normally would use this for concealer, but I haven't had concealer that I need to use this with in a while, so I haven't used that make any sense okay moving on and then I have this which I believe is an eyeshadow brush but I use it for a face brush this is again by coastal sense it's like an angled contour eye brush thing uh, but I like to apply sometimes like my highlight with it uh, just like that so it's more fine and then I'll blend it with my fingers or however I feel like doing it um, another Sony Kashuk brush this one came out with a holiday collection as well um, and again I use this for like setting powder or if I just want to blend it uh, but I haven't used it in a while like I said I haven't used all of these in forever then I have another Coastal Scents brush which this is their blush brush I just think that it's too big so I don't really use it anymore for a blush or really anything so then I have this e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush. I don't mind this one. This one's actually soft for some reason. The other one's like crazy. Maybe, oh, it's it's the black candle. The white the white one was like a dollar. This one's three dollars. So these ones are a little bit softer. I don't really mind these ones. Um, but it's a little bit smaller though. So you do have to keep in mind. And it is pretty flimsy. So you won't get like a heavy contour. You have to keep building it up. Uh... And I have a big fluffy brush from Coastal Scents. Again, it's a big face brush, I believe is what it's called. And I would normally set my powder with this, or set my powder. I would normally set my foundation with this, but I found a better brush, so it's been swapped out. Okay, then I have the Sony Kashuk fan brush here. And again, I'll just highlight with this one as well if I feel like it. But I don't know, I just don't... 
I feel like it gives you like a really tiny line of highlight and you need like a bigger one so I feel like I have to go over like a super large area so I found my stippling works better because this one is like a stippling brush it's got the lighter tips which does pick up less product uh, but again I just think it will apply like a really small like streaky line to my face so I don't I, I don't really know what else to use it for I need to clean it because I think it would be good to remove fallout um, but yeah then I have this brush here from I need to start using this again because I really like this. This is, I think it's like Essence of Beauty or something, but look at how cute it is. Uh, it's like pink bristled and everything. It's super soft. I used to use this for like uh, blush and then I went on to bronzing with it uh, just because I like to use big fluffy brushes for that. So I really need to start using this one again. I completely forgot about it, but they all need clean because they're dusty. So um, that's that one. And I picked this one up at TJ Maxx. Then I have this Sony Kashuk brush as well. This one is an angled foundation brush, I believe is what it was called. I like this one not to apply foundation with, but like anything cream product, like a highlighter, bronzer, um, or like concealer around my nose area because it will get into this area. But, you know. And then again, another Sony Kashuk brush. And I love this one. Uh... And I almost bought a foundation today, and I'm so mad at myself that I didn't, but if I'm going shopping tomorrow, then I might. Um, but this is just a regular, normal <clears throat> foundation brush, uh, and I used to use this all the time for my... I had a foundation... What the heck was it called? I had, like, a foundation that I was using, and it worked really well for that, but now... I can't remember. I think I used this for a little while for the Revlon Color Stay, but that it just doesn't work like that and then I have this little tiny fan brush from Coastal Scents as well and again I would use this for like highlighting purposes but I just thought it was way too small for that so I don't really use it I don't have a purpose for this anymore um let's see <clears throat> I have two of these elf or no, no no this one is a Coastal Scents foundation brush it's good I like this one and then I have an e.l.f. one, and these ones are alright. Again, I would use these for concealer because they're, like, super small compared to this one. Like, look at the difference. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't mind the e.l.f. foundation brush, though. And then I have this foundation brush from Essence of Beauty. It's that cute one again. And I use some foundation with this or concealer or something. That's what I normally do with these brushes because I don't like these brushes otherwise for foundation. And let's see, I have this, another flawless face one, which this one's just like a extra. Whoops. And then I have one more brush. This is the Sony Kashuk Angled Contouring Brush. And I really liked this for contouring, but it made such a small line that it was not, like, appropriate, so I had to make it wider. Uh, I still do like this, but only for, like, the nose, you know? Like, anywhere you want to make smaller, that's a smaller area. So, like, the nose is really good, and that's basically it. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions on where to get any of the brushes, just let me know in the comments. Um, you probably won't be able to get like the same designs. Like, you can see there's different handles here. You probably won't be able to find the same designs, but you can always find the same brushes. They'll just be um, where is it? Oh, I dropped it. Um, they probably won't be like these same designs because, you know, they were from certain collections, but they will be like a white stem, like if, like the, ink, like the more precise contour brush. Um, but I can definitely show you guys where to get these. I'll link some down below that are similar if you want to know about where to get these. As same for any of the other brushes as well. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and, uh, I hope I answered all of your questions, and I will see you guys in my eye brush video. So, bye guys!